Hello and welcome to Wario Land 4. I already made an intro, but I can't because for the sake of consistency, I wanted to start the third level. Because so far, every time I enter a passage, I start here, and every time I do something else, I begin here. So this is 40 below fridge. And that's probably 40 below Celsius, because Chinese people are more sensible than to use Fahrenheit, I hope. On top of that, 40 below Fahrenheit is way cold. Just abnormally cold. To what I know. So yeah, cold area. As you can get, uh, yeah, these things. Conveyor belts. Can't work with them. And then these weird shields that exist for no apparent reason. This is such a weird level. Normally you don't hear the, the background noise, but wow. This level's weirder than I thought. <clears throat> These are snowman blocks. They can only be broken by Snowman Wario. To promote this train of thought, voila. Those yetis, by the way, are annoying. We met them before in Fiery Cavern after we made Hell Freeze over. But I think that's more of an exception. This is Snowman Wario. Look at him! You could probably see better if it wasn't for all the... ...stuff. I'd like that his eyes disappear when enough snow gathers. Um, another gimmick in this level is something you're going to see really soon! Trust me, it's an interesting gimmick. I think it's the only level that actually does that particular gimmick. Uh, there's quite a few diamonds in here for some reason. I wanna forget to pick up those diamonds. Screw this man! Save state professional tip. If you're going to use save state, do it often. So you may be wondering what the final level is. Well, the final... I like this, by the way. The lighting makes you light up pink. So this is an interesting level, to say the least. It's not hyper memory. Mystic Lake is worse. Let me repeat what I said about Mystic Lake. This wide way is very interesting when you have to throw one up and one forward. Mystic Lake is not memorable because Mystic Lake doesn't feel like a lake. You're mostly underwater, underground. It's not a huge lake area. It's not Stagnant Swamp from Wario Land 3. That was a memorable level that felt like a huge-ass lake. Uh, Mystic Lake here just feels like a series of underwater tunnels without many defining characteristics. It is an unmemorable, poorly designed level. This you'll remember for the most bit, because look at this place. Everything's frozen over. Everything's icy and cold, and it just feels like a unique environment we've just entered. And you get keys are really easy early in this level, it seems. Ah, I'm hungry. Why am I not eating, you may ask? <sighs> because of my sister. I have a sister with the most annoying ability to always be the last person here. This is such an interesting climbing thing. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But it's still so fascinating. Get a shortcut. I like how keys are also turns backwards whenever you climb things. It's so cute. But he does look, go awkwardly close to your butt. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, you'll start rolling if you don't stop it. Oh, by the way. Oh god, it's the random fraps lag. 
So, after this passage, we only got, um, let's see, a level and a boss, and then I have everything. Then I need to find something new to play. Because, yeah, Wario Land 2 is also reaching it. I need to find new games to play. Um, I have my mind set on a couple of things. Um, maybe emulator games or some Metroid games, because Metroid's fun. I like Metroid, not too good at it, but I like him. Prime got me hooked, anyway. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go for Metroid Prime. But, if you have any suggestions, just, just feel free to say something. Don't be shy. I don't bite! Mostly because I can't bite. You're not close enough for me to bite you. Come closer! I wanna eat you! Then I'll chew you up like a... I'm gonna be tasty. Big old tasty view person. Forgot which one you're supposed to pick. I think that the decline of Frozen is too sharp and you're supposed to take the highest level. Just freeze me already! No, 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 that's Wario Land 2 where the decline is steep and you don't crash when contacting a wall that isn't directly connected to some floor. I hate that in Wario Land 2. But hey, mechanics change because it's better. Oh, I already got the gem. This is going really smoothly. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This level is very memorable. Not that you'll remember it, it's it's just memorable enough. But it will stick with you. It's not Mystic Lake that just because there's a couple of interesting enemies, it will stay with you forever. Mystic Lake has only one thing going for it, and that's the giant octopus. And even the giant octopus is not memorable enough to make the level. Oh wow, there's a giant octopus and a frog that just opens and closes when you... ...when you do some things. I never knew that! That's, that's completely new to me. That's fantastic! <laughs> I learned something that I didn't already know. That's, that's awesome! See, that's how you learn things. That's how you make new friends. Or how you make old friends. I don't even care anymore. So that's where we're supposed to go. That means that automatically, by default, by designation itself, going the direct polar opposite direction, will lead us to victory. A diamond! I guess that's victory enough for today. Damn it! Must wait for the next fall! So this is essentially Fat Wario, but it doesn't wear off. It's an awesome power, given the mobility it demands. So let's prep for the Swark Witch. It does nothing! In Fiery Cavern, everything went haywire. Here, the freezer doesn't turn off or anything. By the way, this ladder's a hell to climb. Um, you can crawl, by the way, to negate all the effects. But, uh, yeah, this level doesn't do a lot with the frog switch. It doesn't change anything, it doesn't put any diff serious demands. It's just pure frog switch. Oh, and here you can see the coins frozen in the blocks. That's another thing you'll me memorize. Probably should have gone for a super ram, but hey. I'm a classic Wario man, bro. I don't believe in those fancy whoopin' jupin'. Well, I was the one to complain about the Wario 2. Oh, diamond. God damn it, I feel like a Minecrafter. Hey, diamond. Hey, diamond. See that? That's a diamond. Despite the fact they only give a thousand points and are not exactly hypersonic, super fantastic. One on my chart here. I should get caught. Not that I need the points, but what the hell. I wanna get hit? I don't ever wanna get hit. Go, 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 wa, re, yo, go, go, wa, re, yo. I can imagine that in hard mode and super hard mode, those things are stacked with enemies. But hey, I'm not leaving without my CD-ROM. Luckily, I have this. 
chances a first time will not know that now you have to do this again which is the dickest move you can imagine this is way too much work for a CD-ROM OH SHIT I totally still have those cheats on FUCK yes uh... for hard mode I had a couple of cheats on not because I'm insecure about my skills but because I wanted to get it off as fast as I could and only now that I notice that I still have the health and the timer cheat on the, the health cheat doesn't really matter for shit, but the timer cheat, hey. I wanna do this legitimately, I wanna worry about things. Sorry if I hurt anyone's feelings about that. You have my deepest and sincerest apologies. And if nobody cares, then oh, hey, kudos to me. I got people that don't care. Ha, ah, you're too slow, because I'm Sonic. The next level is the bitchiest, dickiest, annoyingest level in the game, in my opinion. But it's also the most fantastically designed, most perfectly put together map of all. It is a level that shows that this game is awesome and has thought put into it. It's the one that pops your jaw with happiness. Also, give us a Twix. Oh, no, he's giving us the Flex. I was hoping he'd give us the... Peace. Pinball Zone! The gimmick, you can see on the board. Just like any other normal level, you can see the gimmick on the board. On the painting. It's, this is Mario 46, Wario Edition. So. Vroom! So this is designed after a pinball board. Already, it looks fantastic! I know what they're supposed to be. But I like them. I like the explosion effects. It's all unique. This entire level feels unique, memorable, in and on itself, just something fresh. Then you have these balls, and you have those things. You might wonder, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? I'm supposed to pick them up and feed them. And they get 50 coins. Um, there's four of them, and as you can see in that big old block. And these are themed pinball boards. This one is about a dragon. There's one uh, about a monkey. So, as I said, this is the perfect map to conclude with. I don't care about the order of the game anymore. This is how I want to end this playthrough. If, if I could just skip Golden Passage, I would end on this. On this level. My favorite. As annoying as it is, I would end on this level. And this one, by the way, gives you a golden. Which is a 500. Yeah. So that's about 700 coins just for doing what you're supposed to do. There's another. And it also changes as you go higher. Oh, these are new platforms. They look like those, but they're slightly different. And that they vanish after a second. I want to check around here for some secrets, you never know. They actually make a tiny noise, that's cute. Want to jump, else you'll fall down and have to come back up again. Oh, no, yes, this one. Similar to the running and rolling challenge, this time you have to do it all in one go. Now it's a burn diamond, because diamonds are just connections of uh, carbon atoms. You can set a diamond to light at, I think, 500 Kelvin or Celsius. 800 Kelvin or Celsius, excuse me. There's a difference at about 200-something degrees in that. Well, I might as well pick up this heart. Root! Mm. An apple a day keeps the monkey away? I don't know. Don't like that. <laughs> it's really weird. Weird at best, funny at awesome. What? Diamonds! The 
because this is Minecraft. Look at that big arm carrying that big. Okay, let's forget about that one. Oh god. Just look at this. Look at it. Here they have the same thing, but it. Oh, this one, by the way, doesn't work. He just gets pummeled by the others. See that? They, they both pummel him with their spiked orbs of deathness. Don't even say... No, no! If you do, Wario, I will kick your tush. Monkey! And snakes. The jungle, it seems. I don't know why these blocks are destructible other than a couple of coins. Oh, something about those things that you're going to learn in a rather short amount of time. Also, you either know this trick or you don't, and you fail. That's a very interesting thing, by the way, that I really like. Those things will eventually start shooting electrolyte things. Long story short, you want to hate them. No, 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 not this one. So this one's a bit of a bitch. So now I gotta be fast, or they will all be lost forever in that current. Yep, that was it. Nice little puzzle, got some coins, got my shit settled. Yeah, the balls respawn. It's kind of annoying. Oh, I thought they went randomly in this one. Yeah, if the mouth's closed, they won't eat. So you gotta make sure you time it correctly. Or face the consequences of having to do it again. Oh, so it's still uh, coordinated, that direction, yeah. Also, it doesn't go... Fuck. You, monkey! I will gut your parents, and I will mail them to your corpse if you ever do that again! Nobody, nobody gets in the way of me and my golden coin. Those that do are never seen or heard from again. Look at this. Look at that guy! Looks like he has a giant ass beard. Also, he hides a CD ROM. Vroom. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. I like how everything's like four times the regular size. It's still feels and looks active. That's how well this is designed. That even at four times, it still feels active. Oh, this is a cold themed map. Now you can get some extra air. Oh, this is just for a heart medal? Well, I guess I could use 500. Oh, those things are also worth 500 points, so you pretty much get that. There's a sort of a thousand coin default minimum limit thingamajig. And that uh, pretty much most of these maps contain at least five, at least thousand coins or something. I don't know, some don't, some do. Others go over it, others go under it. I don't care. I get enough coins that I can make my day. One thing though, the map is not white or dark, or just, it's just too dark for those guys. It just doesn't fit 
It feels a tad off. This map, by the way, is symmetrical. I guess that in hard mode and super hard mode, those guys would go haywire. Those electric bolt magics, that is. Just eat my baby! Hey. You shit. Asked you to eat my baby, and you denied my dying wish of babiness? Nobody denies a person or his, his or hers eating baby dying wish. Oh, it sounds like dinner's ready. I'll see you guys in a moment. Wow. I went for a walk and everything, so I'm pretty exhausted now. A very nice dinner. Hmm. Nice dinner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, I like the dodge, bitch. Look at that blatant hint. What the hell? I never understood what purpose it served. Look, it's the moon. I told you this level is awesome. And again, they force you to step on that goddamn. I just want to. Yep, robot level. Any moment, these guys are going to zap me. Oh wow, the game's just lagging in and on itself. It's it's not even... Holy shit. No, it's, it's not Java. Although it is on, and I don't want Java. Ow. A couple of auto glitches are buzzing into my ear. This is pretty cool. I don't know what that middle section's for. Oh god! I think it's there's a chance of you hitting that. Oh, this sucks. Oh god! Have mercy on my soul, Lord. Oh yeah, they actually did it differently. I like this though. It's it's such an intricate game design. As I said, they pull out the biggest dick moves they could possibly imagine. But on the plus side, it's the most creative dick move. I like how there's co cogs behind those thingamajigs. Fuck. You zapper. I can't imagine super hard. I never did that. I did not do that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes! Almost fucked myself there. Saying too many times. Oh, rockets! Fuck, 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 fuck. Hear the epicness of that timer and tell me that this level isn't awesome. I dare you. God, why is it slowing down? It's the game! It's legitimately the game! You wanna know what Fraps is saying? We're doing a new 60 frames per second, Captain! The game's just too much! She's gonna blow! And I would agree. She is going to blow. And we're all going to suck it. Oh shit! There's gonna be two orbs at this side of the field. You can do this, Wario. You've trained Melalia for this! After this, we get to fight what can only be considered the quirkiest boss in the world. You will get the world's biggest fist jammed up his throat. 
Although that sounded so sexual, I'm probably going to get a sexual harassment lawsuit from my assistant. If I had an assistant, which I don't. This is a one-man business, friend. In fact, this isn't even a business. I don't make any money. I don't know if that means that my business is just really, really bad. Ha! Huh. Maybe I'll make money at some point. But for now, this is a one-man non-business with no money. You can do this, Wario. We're only a few pentaseconds away from success. You're forced into that, by the way. I don't know if you can escape it. No, you can't. Y you can't. You're legitimately forced to exit the level at that point. That's awesome. And now, the last boss, and then we get to see what's with that pyramid. Wow, as I said, pretty short game, but it's an awesome game. This is Fraps, by the way. Okay, let's see who we're actually facing. I should have a screen open somewhere for that. I actually didn't encounter any new enemies in the last levels, which is kind of cookie. Yeah, Ruby Passage introduces very low amount of new enemies. We're fighting Cuckoo Condor! You'll see what it is in a moment, but it's a very quirky enemy. Um, let's see. Good items to use is the Big Fist, the Black Dragon. Uh, the Buggle is pretty good. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4 with these guys. 1, 2, 3, f I hate that because... Um, Catbat actually gets two from this and one from this. That's pretty quirky. So let's go and give him a big fist up. Oh, wow, look at that door. That's not even fitting to the theme. A second HP. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. And the player are... Yeah, I'm pretty much cutting to the end stage of this battle. Look at those cocks to the sides. This would have probably been a very interesting fight had I not popped this item and cheated in the medals. Ah, oh, that must hurt. Look at that guy. He's got some sort of earring up there. Okay, let's see if I know how to beat this boss. What the hell are those? Oh, I know what you do. They explode. Boom, bitch. They're all ghosts, I've noticed. Cracktus is a plant ghost. This is a thingamajig ghost. The other was a rat ghost. And the other was a cat bat ghost thing. They're all ghosts. That just shows how old this place is. And it looks like Wario has a light on his head instead of this just being his giant nose. Yeah, that's excellent, not Mamma Mia. Whoa, that's a scary eye you got there, boy. Welcome to the Golden Pyramid. It's a one-level stage, similar to the Entry Passage. It combines aspects of all previous four levels. It contains no CD-ROM, which means we've actually gathered each and every one of these. My favorite song, actually, together with the short futon. You. So that's the reason you can look up here. Next time, we're tackling the big pyramid. I hope you're all ready, kids. Because this is going to be tough. Very tough. So 
very tough. Golden Passage. Next time, you and me. Hello and welcome to Wario Land 4, where last time I had to make a hard save file so I could show you guys... Um, the Robo-Bird, but it seems I was wrong, and the actual order of things is Emerald, Ruby, Topaz, and... Well, I don't even care. Even in whatever hell order you feel like. No, wait! I can't. 